Me llamo Eduardo Vega. I'm here to check on my motocicleta. Are you Joe? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. It's a beautiful bike, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my uh, regular mechanic is still in Europe, but I like to fly in early to qualify. <laughs> well, she handles like a dream now. Oh, you rode it? Well, you know, I had to test it out. Of course, yeah, yeah. But this is a sensitive racing machine, not some toy from Toy Story, which I saw on the plane, and it's fantastic. <laughs> Well, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I've actually done a little racing myself. I was a AAA junior national finalist. Oh, yes, 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 the Pee Wee Circuit. <laughs> Where did you say you were from? Uh, Spain. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, little bitty Spain. <laughs> she is very beautiful. Yeah, we've already established that, pal. No, 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 I mean the, the, the girl. <laughs> Pardon me, I am Eduardo Vega. Lou Davis. Lou? Yeah. She's a man. <laughs> uh, I do not uh, usually do this, but because I, I must go now, and yet I wish to spend more time with you, would you consider uh, attending my race this Saturday? Saturday. Sorry, pal. You know what? She's not really a big fan of motorcycles. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be the one with the pearly white helmet. To match your smile. You noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Very proud of my teeth. Tell me, amor, I'll have the crew pick up my bike and I'll see you in the winner's circle. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Oh. Unbelievable. It'll, um, match your smile. <laughs> oh, so you've, uh, noticed. Okay, ciao, me, Is that the most obnoxious, conceited guy you've ever met? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, you know what? I might just enter that race myself because, uh, I have done it before. Oh, right. <clears throat> Peewee circuit. <laughs> Again. I can't believe they're gonna throw these fries out. Is this job great or what? <laughs> yeah, great. Oh my god. Look how much they take out. Taxes, FICA? What's FICA? Well, that money goes for when you retire. You'll be glad you got that when you're 70. When we're 70, we're gonna be living underground using jugs of water for money. <laughs> Besides, from what I've seen, the chicks aren't that hot at 70. Angela Lansbury? Hey, I'll shut up. I need cash now. Oh, yeah? How bad? They're having auditions to play Lucky Burger. Could you imagine a more humiliating way to make a living? <laughs> Feeding out the fryer later with you is awful high on the list. <laughs> no, I'd rather do that than wear a stupid plastic hamburger on my head. Leaves that head on, nobody knows who you are. Pays $100 in appearance. Still Lucky Burger? No way. No way. No way. <laughs> Guess what? I got a sponsor. I didn't know you had a drinking problem. I'm not that kind of sponsor, all right? A sponsor for the road race. And best of all, they supply the bike. I don't believe you. Just because some good-looking road racer comes walking in here and what? asks... Wait, what? You thought like I was good-looking? <laughs> Only if you go for that Antonio Banderas in a leather jacket thing. All right, all right. Well, um, check this out, huh? Okay, that's not bad. Of course, it's not as big as Eduardo's bike. <laughs> Yeah, well, where do you see my helmet? <clears throat> oh, I thought you already had it on. What's going on? Joe got a sponsor. No, really? Yeah. Look, I had no idea you had a gambling problem. Lloyd, I decided to go back into racing. Racing? Oh, well, you got your new pit crew, Chief, if you're interested. It'd be just like old times with your dad. Yep. Mike Roman and Lloyd Burwell were a great team. We were the Sonny and Cher of racing. Except I never got to wear that furry vest. <laughs> the racing commission had those stupid rules. Yeah. And everything. Hey, guys, I think I found a job I'd be perfect for. 
Really? I didn't know they paid people to freak out over nothing. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Matt, I thought you already had a job. Let's just say I might be rising in the company. Oh, yeah? What is it, bud? Oh, no, I'm not telling you. Take my good news, put your poison spinner on it. Before I know it, I'll be sorry I ever told you. Just want to just eliminate the middleman, so I'll have a good laugh at my expense. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what it would be like inside your head. It would last five minutes. Look, Joe, tell Ma I might be a little late for dinner. All right, bud, we'll see you. <laughs> so look, Lloyd, I'm gonna take this thing out on the track for a run, and then we'll know just how much work it needs. You got it. All right. So wait, you're really serious about this? Oh, yeah, you kidding? I love racing. There's nothing else like it. Hey, do you want to come? Well... Oh, come on now. It's always good to try something new. Remember yesterday when you talked me into eating that tofu? No, Joe, I had to trick you into eating tofu by telling you it was an Eskimo pie without the chocolate. <laughs> and you liked it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, Lou, you know what? They're having a lovely poetry reading down at Trenton Speedway today. Perhaps you'd like to come check it out. Sure, Joe. I love poetry. Yeah, you see? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've known you for 20 years, and you've never invited me to a poetry meeting. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's audition. I'm Doug Jordan, but some of you may know me better by the role I play in commercials. Television's Lucky Burger. <laughs> sure, it's fun, but it's not easy. We have a two-part auditioning process. It's grueling, and hey, it's not for everyone. But when it's all over, one of you is going to walk out of here a very happy person. Yeah, and one of us is going to be wearing a giant hamburger bun on his head. Right, Doug? <laughs> See ya! Okay, now that we've gotten rid of the troublemaker, let's begin. Assuming the role of Lucky Burger is an honor, it shows not just our customers' faith in you, but also our faith, because we're trusting a $2,500 costume to a 16-year-old. <laughs> now, later on, I'll show you some of Lucky Burger's cool dance moves. But first, let's cover dramatic interpretation. Repeat after me. Well, flip my burgers! Well, flip my burgers! Let's hear that again. Well, flip my burgers! See ya. <laughs> Super. Now let's try a couple of more. Number two, it's Frenchy Fry Rific. It's Frenchy Fry Rific. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Joe, that was so cool. Yeah, but the way I took that first hairpin, huh? I don't remember being that tight at Fort Myers. No, Joe, I'm really impressed. I mean, I gotta admit, I thought you were blowing smoke, but you really do know your way around a track. It was. <laughs> Kind of, um... Huh? <clears throat> Sexy? And Joe Roman fumbles another potentially sweet moment. Hey, what's this? Joe's entering a road race. Pretty cool, huh, bud? You're entering a race? Well, if I qualify tomorrow, I'll be racing on Saturday. I gotta be there. Promise me I can come. Absolutely. I'll be a good luck charm. You can't win without your good luck charm. <laughs> You're there, buddy. Give me five. All right. And number 42... Hergity burgity good! Hergity burgity good! Hey, you, you, and you, step out. Everyone else, see ya! <laughs> yeah? You guys are good. It's gonna be hard choosing between you. But that's why we have our musical portion, where you learn some of Lucky's cool dance moves. <laughs> but remember, whoever is selected must assume the complete role of Lucky Burger. Once you put on that head, you must never respond to your own name. Now let's take five while I slip into some of Lucky's cool threads. <laughs> oh no, he's not too scary. He's Frenchy fry -rific. Quit sucking up. Okay, I've advanced the timing four degrees and I've loosened up the suspension. Great, I wish you could loosen up my lower back. Yeah, I bet you do, Roman. <laughs> okay, where does it hurt? Are you kidding me? No. All right, all right. Okay. Mm. There. How does that feel? A little lower. Mm. Okay. A little bit lower. Okay. A little bit lower. Joe, any lower and I'll hit the brain. <laughs> Are we interrupting something? No, we're just working on the bike. So I see. Oh, I thought Mr. Vega already picked up his bike. No, this is my bike. Yeah, Joe's going to be in a race on Saturday. Oh, really? Well, if I qualify. Oh, you're going to qualify. Don't forget, I'm going to be your good luck, Joe. Absolutely, buddy. You'll be right there Saturday morning. 
Oh, Saturday's impossible. Don't you remember, Andy? We're um, going to go buy some spring clothes. Please, Mom, I'm begging you. Any more overalls, I'll have to join a cast of Eagle. <laughs> All right, well, we'll talk about it later. Does anybody know where Matt is? Sure, he's probably sitting in some corner somewhere feeling sorry for himself. Let's have a burger at night tonight. A hamburger at night. All right. Get your top coat dusted. Don't be skipping with the monster. Cause it's a lucky burger at night. Ha <laughs> ha Tonight. Lucky burger at night. Oh. Okay, not bad. It's a beginning. Uh, everybody practice tonight. I'll make my final decision tomorrow. And remember, you have to bring your own tap shoes. I don't have tap shoes. You don't have tap shoes. Fifteen years old and you don't have your own tap shoes? Ah, <sighs> what should we do? What should we do? Get some! Up, <laughs> uh, Matt, between you and me and Lucky, you got the part. Wow, thanks. Yeah, I'll call the others and tell them over the phone. I've only got so many Sia's in me. Uh, you know what? I want you to take Lucky's head and practice with it tonight because you've got your first big gig tomorrow. Again, thanks. Well, I have to caution you. No one is to see you in the process of changing into Lucky Burger from your regular identity. You mean like, like Clark Kent? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar. Just remember that golden rule. When appearing in the persona of Lucky Burger, never, ever, ever, ever respond to your own name. Oh, believe me, that won't be a problem. Super. I can make it home in time for high society. Well? Qualified for the race, buddy. Race? Of course you're qualified. You're a Roman. <laughs> and you'll have a Burwell in your pit. <laughs> Hope that's not as uncomfortable as it sounds. Claire, he was fantastic. He had the best time of the whole day. I gotta tell you, it is so much more intense when you're right there on the track watching. You should have been there. Oh, I've been on the track before. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks. Can I see you for a second? Yeah, sure. What's up? Well, I've got some good news, too. We got the Warren account. So I told him we would start working on his Bentley on Saturday. That's great, but you know what? Uh, the race is on Saturday, so I'll just do it on Sunday, all right? Joe, I just thought you wanted to prove you could qualify. Well, you did. You can be very proud. But now there's work to be done. Well, I can do it on Sunday. I just want to see how I do in one actual race, that's all. Oh, I know how this works. After this, there's another race just as important, and then another and another. And meanwhile, I'm back here um, keeping the business together. Sorry. Look, Claire, I could not back out now, okay? Besides, I promised Andy. Andy is not going. We made plans for next Saturday two weeks ago, and I can't break them now. No, 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 no. I, I told Andy that he could go. You just can't do this. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do with my son. This may not be in your racing rule book, but I am his mother, and that means I decide what he does and doesn't do. Look, he's really looking forward to this, okay? He loves racing. No. Andy loves you, and you love racing. I want you to forget about this race. Stop right there. You're Andy's mother, not mine. I'm racing. Claire? I'm going to check on the air filter supply. <clears throat> Roman customizing. Mike Roman. No, um, he's not here anymore. Now, there's no forwarding address. Who's calling? Oh, uh, well, um, the reason he didn't renew his subscription is because he died last year in a racing accident. Yes, we're all sorry. Burger Don't, number 76. Don't dance too close to the grill, as your costume is extremely flammable. <laughs> Should you burst into flames, roll on the ground, but do not remove the head. Here you go! You tap dancing fool. Oh, thanks, Lloyd. You got me taps. Look, I'm sorry about all the secrecy. Well, I understand about secrecy. You know, as a matter of fact, I was issued these in the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard? Uh-huh. When you've been at sea for six months, straight drama just won't do. <laughs> Eventually, the fellas want a musical, something lighthearted like Brigadoon or Flower Drum Song. And that's when you're really glad you got these babies. Now, tell me why you need tap shoes. Sorry, Lloyd, but I got to keep this under tight wraps for a little while. Come on, lucky burger tonight! Lucky burger tonight! Yeah! Andy! Hey, Andy! Andy, what are you doing? 
have to show this to anyone. Wait a minute. Tap shoes, burger head. I'm starting to put it all together. Damn it, Matt, you're too young to enlist. No, Lloyd. I've been chosen to be the new Philadelphia Lucky Burger. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Matt, are you kidding me? Not the Lucky Burger, the all-singing, all-dancing slab of beef. <laughs> oh, congratulations, buddy. Oh, great. Now it starts. No, I think this is terrific. Are you kidding? I mean, uh, how much does a dancing sandwich get nowadays, huh? hundred bucks a shot. Really? And that's not including the pickles the girls are going to stick in your pants for tips. <laughs> and, uh, I've got something for you, Joe. It's for the race today. I already got a jacket. Hey. Hey, that's Dad's jacket. It is? I don't remember it. Sure you do. Don't you remember you used to love opening and closing all the zippers? That would hide stuff in the pockets for you to find? What kind of stuff? You know, like toys, little candies and stuff. Once, Dad ate a hamster in there. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Harry. Harry the hamster. What else did Dad do? Well, he used to give us tickle tests. Remember, Joe? No. And you always start laughing before he even touched you, huh? <laughs> Joe is the best, and I fell somewhere in the middle. Well, gotta get ready for this gig. Well, Matt, I'm sure you'll be able to fill my shoes. However, you'll probably want to stuff them with newspaper. Thanks, Lloyd. Good luck, buddy. Oh, good luck at the race, Joe. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> come on. Try it on, Joe. All right, come on. Ready? Let's go. Yep. Okay. Hey, what's going on here? Lloyd found Dad's old racing jacket. Joe's gonna wear it in the race today. Oh, that's great. He can tell you all about it. Come on, Andy, we're going shopping. I'm going to the race, Mom. No, you're not. I am so, and you can't stop me. Watch me. Now go get ready. No! Andy! I hate you! That's great. You can't tell me what to do, so you just take it out on him. What is your problem? My problem is you look much too much like your father in that jacket. So that's what this is all about, huh? Look, Claire, I'd get hit by a bus crossing the street, okay? There is danger everywhere. Which is exactly why you shouldn't go looking for it. Do you know the only thing I thank God for on that awful day is that Matt and Andy weren't there to see that crash? I am not my father, okay? Right. You just dress the same and you talk the same and you became a mechanic and you like to race. Look, I do those things because I like them. It has nothing to do with him. What do you want me to do, beg? Okay, I'm begging. Please don't go to that race. You are too important to us, to Andy and Matt and me. We love you. And we couldn't stand it if we lost you, too, okay? We cannot go through that again. Claire, nothing's gonna happen to me. Yeah. Boy, that's exactly what he said every time I asked him not to race. You know, it was always just gonna be one more, and then we'd be sad, and then he would quit, only he just never quit. I couldn't stand the fighting, so finally I just stopped asking him Maybe if I hadn't, maybe if I had just said something that day. He still would have gone. Believe me, I know. I wish I did. But I'm still going to say it now. Don't go, Joe. Please don't go. Listen, but I have to tell you something, okay? I decided that I'm not going to race, and I don't mean to disappoint you. And look, this is not your mom's fault either, all right? It's just something that I decided. I didn't think it was the right time right now, okay? Maybe now I can get a decent night's sleep. Wait a minute. I thought that you wanted to go to the race. Only because you were going. I hate racing. I could want to go so bad then, buddy. To protect you. Going to be my good luck charm, huh? Yeah. Like it was for Dad. Of course I remember. But then that one day, I didn't go in. Oh, no, honey. That's not true. It had nothing to do with you. She's right, Anne. It wasn't anybody's fault. It just kind of happened. But why that day? We don't know, sweetie. We'll never know. So why didn't you ever tell me about this? Because every time we talk about Dad, he gets sad. Because I miss him. 
But the last thing Daddy would ever want is for you to think it was your fault. You either. So, does that mean we still have to go shopping? No. Let's go somewhere fun and happy. Joe knows just the place. Hey, everybody! Look who's here! Let's have a burger in night tonight. A hamburger in night. All right. Get your top coat dusted. Don't be skippy with the mustard. Cause it's a lucky burger in night. <laughs> Tonight. Lucky burger in night. I can't believe that burger is my son. <laughs> Great job, Matt. Hey, Matt. Come on over here and join us, buddy. Hey, Matt, what are you, too good for us or something? You guys take it easy on him. He probably just can't hear us. Hey, Matt. Hey, I'm talking to you, Burger Breath. Ooh, I can't respond to my own name in public. See ya. <laughs> Hey, Lou. Oh. Lou, listen, um, I'm really sorry about disappointing you today. What are you talking about? Well, I know that you were excited about the race and everything, and I'm sorry. Joe, you're not racing was the sexiest thing I think I've ever seen you do. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, since you thought it was so sexy, maybe you have to work. With you. Why? No, you have to work. sorry I am late, but these photographers with their flashing and the yada, 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 they turned the winner's circle into a beehive. That's okay, I understand. Let me get my jacket. Okay. Okay, I, I thought you just said that not racing was the sexiest thing you've seen. No, Joe, I said it was the sexiest thing I'd ever seen you do. Ciao. <laughs>